Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here, and this is the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with SmugMug in 90 Minutes. This is step number five, and in this step, we are going to be creating your portfolio gallery out of the photos that we've already uploaded to your SmugMug site. So right now, we are looking at our site, and we are in the visitor view. We want to go ahead and click on the owner view to go in and see uh, what our site's looking at like right now. And to create our portfolio gallery, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit the upload and we're going to create a new gallery and give it a gallery name. We're going to call it Portfolio. Perfect. Under category, this really doesn't matter, but we might as well throw it into the weddings category. Subcategory doesn't matter. Theme doesn't matter. Well, theme default is good. And for the quick settings, we're going to select client settings right here. Go ahead and click save. Okay. So this is our typical upload screen. And we are not going to be uploading files here and create duplicates on our SmugMug site. What we're going to do is uh, use SmugMug's collection tool feature, which is uh, sneaky awesome. So go ahead and say you're done uploading. And go back to your home. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, each wedding uh, gallery that we've got, client gallery that we've got. So what we're going to do now is hunt for our favorite photos and the photos that we want to show off in our portfolio gallery. So to do that, um, we are going to just find these photos. Let's say this one I like. And what we're going to do is hover over the big image, press on this plus sign with a yellow circle, and that's the collect photo. And it says display a virtual copy in the following gallery. Well, we just picked or uh, just created our portfolio gallery, so go ahead and select that. And while we're in this gallery, just uh, just hit this selection button here that says don't display this window as I collect more from this gallery. So click on that. Click photo. So now keep uh, keep going and uh, all the photos that you want in your portfolio, you just keep selecting that uh, that button. So I'll do it one more time. Let's find one here. I like this one. So get, go ahead and press that plus sign, and a virtual copy will be um, will be put into your portfolio gallery. So go ahead and uh, go through your photos. Um, make sure you go through each um, client gallery because you want to have a good mix. You don't want a portfolio that's got uh, just photos from one wedding. So you want to make sure that you go through and uh, and select different photos. And every time you come into um, a different gallery and click on the plus sign it's going to give you the same option to, to choose where you want it to go and uh, and then just keep saying don't display this window as I collect more photos so keep collecting and then uh, when you're all done we'll go have a look at that portfolio gallery we've just created and uh, what we're going to do with it from there okay so we're back to our home page now and you can see we've got a portfolio gallery and if we go ahead and click on that It'll take us to this portfolio. And here are the images that we collected from the other galleries. Now it's important to note here that the um, because we copy these from other existing galleries, these photos take on the settings and the especially the uh, prices that you would set from the original gallery. So it's something to, to keep in mind that um, the prices that we set in the original galleries will be maintained in this essentially this virtual gallery. Perfect. So now what we want to do is is uh, link to this portfolio gallery in our navigation bar here. So let's go ahead and go back home. We're going to go into tools or easy customizer. And if you remember where we uh, we work on the navigation bar is under header and then down here navigation bar builder. 
I want my portfolio to come to be the second link after home. So I'm going to click the plus sign right here to create a new link area. I'm going to call it portfolio. And it is going to be, um, it's going to point to a specific gallery, which is the portfolio gallery. And there's the URL right there. So that's perfect. Go OK there. And you'll see it popped up. And we can go publish. OK. There it is. We go back to our home page. You'll see that portfolio is right there. So if someone clicks on that link, they're taken to a portfolio page. So that's perfect. That's it for this step. In the next step, we will be um, creating the home page slideshow and uh, using this same portfolio gallery. So we'll see you in the next video.